welcome to the Fight TV Developer Days 2021. My name is Mario Viviani and I'm very excited to be your main host today. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump straight in. We really have a packed agenda for today. We'll kick off uh, with a dive deep into what's new on Amazon Fire TV, the latest devices, and what are the key opportunities for developers creating apps for TV. We will then have a short Q&A session where you will be able to ask questions using the GoToWebinar tool, and our evangelist will jump straight in answering your questions. After the first Q&A, we will then jump into a more technical session where our developer evangelist Anisha Malde will cover the main developer tool that developers and content creators can use on Amazon Fire TV. We will then have a final session of Q&A after the technical talk. So let's get started. Again, my name is Mario Viviani and I work in the developer evangelist team in Amazon. My main focus is to engage directly with a broader community of apps and games developers like yourself. I'm very excited to be here today to share with you what's new on Amazon Fire TV. We are officially now in a new golden age of television with so much more content and new ways to watch your favorite TV shows and movies than ever before. And it is our goal at Amazon to simplify the experience for customers. So we work with developers and content partners to create unique and meaningful experiences that go beyond basic viewing. Earlier on this year, we announced that Fire TV reached a milestone of more than 100 million Amazon Fire TV devices sold. These are big numbers and the video streaming industry is growing. In order to satisfy this increasing demand, we need to keep pushing and keep innovating constantly on behalf of our customers. And we want our developers and content creators like you to also be able to do so. And not only customers are buying Fire TV devices, they actually really, really enjoy them. Uh, the Fire TV Stick family has 1 million five-star reviews globally on Amazon.com. In fact, this year, customers purchased more Fire TV 4K streaming media players on Prime Day than any previous Prime Day. Everything, of course, starts from devices. Amazon devices are what makes everything possible. So let's jump in and start talking about what are the new devices and how these Amazon Fire TV devices can help you as content creators and developers reach more customers. And where better to start than Fire TV Stick, one of the main success drivers of Fire TV. The latest release of our best-selling streaming device is 50% more powerful than the previous generation Fire TV Stick, the 2019 release, so that means more power for your applications to run on. The new device also includes the Alexa Voice Remote, which lets you use your voice to search and launch programs from across different apps, and also has power and volume button to control your TV. It also comes with home cinema audio with support for Dolby Atmos. Since we really wanted to push the envelope, last year we also introduced a new version of the Fire TV Stick, the Fire TV Stick Lite, which is a new, even more affordable way to begin streaming in Full HD. Fire TV Stick is 50% more powerful than the previous generation Fire TV Stick and includes the most processing power on any streaming media player under $30. It features HDR support and comes also with the Alexa Voice Remote, a new remote that allows you to use voice to find, launch, and control content. To complete the lineup of the Stick series, this year we release a brand new evolution of the Fire TV 4K, which is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Fire TV 4K Max supports 4K UHD, HDR and HDR10 Plus streaming, as well as Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. It's 40% more powerful than the previous Fire TV Stick 4K. It comes with the latest Alexa Voice Remote and is our first streaming stick to offer live view picture in picture. It also offers Alexa Home Theater, so you can wirelessly connect with Echo Studio or a pair of Echo, the fourth generation smart speakers, for immersive sound, including multi channel Dolby Audio format. It also includes next gen Wi Fi 6 
support. And let's jump and talk about voice because voice is a fundamental way that's changing the user experience on TV. And we'll deep dive into the voice feature soon. Voice is the core of the Fire TV Cube, uh, which is a device thought to be a voice first device. The Cube is the fastest, most powerful Fire TV ever, delivering a fast, fluid experience for your favorite films and TV programs. Via far field voice controls, the Fire TV Cube allows you to just walk in a room and start engaging with Fire TV hands free. It also allows you to control your compatible soundbar and AV receiver and change satellite channels just with your voice. So the question now is, how can developers and content owners leverage Alexa to drive more engagement for in-app content? We'll touch on that later on. When we touch about the voice developer tools that Amazon makes available, and we will dive into that into the technical session later on today. Fire TV is not only about streaming media players like the Cube or the Stick anymore. Fire TV is also on smart TVs as well. So let's jump on it. Brands like Toshiba and Insignia have also integrated a Fire TV experience into their smart TVs. At Amazon, we are always on the lookout for what is best for our customers. That's why this year we released the first models of smart TVs by Amazon. Fire TV 4 Series and Fire TV Omni. And recently, during the Black Friday week, customers purchased a record number of Fire TVs, uh, smart TVs on Amazon.com, including models from Insignia, Toshiba, Pioneer, and the Amazon Fire TV Omni and the 4 Series. The all-new Amazon Fire TV 4 Series 55-inch was the number one newly released TV on Amazon.com this holiday season thus far. The Fire TV 4 Series combines 4K UHD resolution with HDR10 and HLG for beautiful picture quality on 4K TV shows and movies. The lineup includes 43-inch, 50-inch and 55-inch model sizes. The Fire TV 4 Series supports Alexa experiences via the Fire TV Alexa voice remote. The Fire TV Omni Series delivers world-class entertainment, powerful smart home controls, and far field voice controls, so you can actually talk to Alexa from across the room. It is available in multiple formats, 43-inch, 50, 55, 65, and 75-inch model sizes, with 4K UHD resolution as well as supports for HDR10, HLG, and also Dolby Digital Plus. The 65 and 75 inch models feature a slim bezel that blends seamlessly into your home and adds supports for Dolby Vision. And last but not least, Amazon is bringing TV outside of the living room with our automotive experience. With this launch, customers are now able to enjoy the Fire TV experience in the car and stream the latest shows from the most popular video services. This product was announced at CES in Las Vegas in January 2020 and is now available in two Stellantis vehicles, the Jeep Wagoneer and the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. For developers, this launch introduces new ways to engage with our customers, grow usage and broaden app reach outside of the traditional living room Fire TV experience. In our upcoming technical talk, we will be talking about building for the three foot experience, as when optimizing your Fire TV applications for automotive, there are a number of key UX differences that you as a developer need to take care of to ensure the best customer experience. So stay tuned for our next talk to learn more. And now let's take a look about how you can drive and grow customer engagement even further. Our goal at Amazon with Fire TV is to provide customers with a content forward experience, where we expose customers to the biggest and best amount of content they can consume. The content forward experience is actually composed of two main aspects. On one side, there is increased discoverability of your content and improve the ways customer can then engage with the content itself. 
Amazon is bringing innovation to this field, allowing content owners and developers to reach more customers. Let's talk about the Fire TV UI. As you can see here, with our latest updates to the Fire TV UI, our content forward approach not only gives prominence to apps, but also directly to content. What you see here is called the feature content. Feature content is not just an image. It is a full-blown video that showcases the content in more detail. This is a great way to allow for content discoverability. This is available in multiple locales, and what you see here is taken from the Fire TV in Italy. The content forward experience is all about showcasing and increasing discoverability of content outside of the apps. This is why we added new features to the Fire TV cinematic UI, like App Peaks. When a specific application is selected, a peak kicks in, which allows to discover content provided just by that application. Along with on-demand content, Live TV is another important pillar of the big screen experience. Let's jump on it and see what does it look like from a customer experience perspective. Developers and content owners can leverage the Live TV experience on Fire TV. As you can see here, live content is on the Fire TV UI directly. There is dedicated space for live content, which makes it immediately more discoverable to customers. Customers can go directly and jump straight into live content from the main Fire TV UI. As it is showcased here in the German version of Fire TV, there is also a dedicated Live TV tab where you can see all the Live TV channels and their dedicated electronic guide. You can consume content straight from this view and jump into the content that is currently being played. In the next technical talk, we will cover the details of how this is implemented and how you as developers can leverage Live TV. And now let's talk about one of the key features that power the content forward experience, which is catalog integration. Catalog integration allows your content to be included in the results of a search performed from the Fire TV home screen or through voice. It plugs into what we call Amazon Universal Search that powers all the searches made on Amazon Fire TV. There are three main steps involved in catalog integration. The first step requires the developer to provide the metadata of their content, for example, the title, description, a deep link to the video playback of a specific movie or TV episode, inside a catalog file that Amazon then ingests. Amazon matches the content against multiple sources of truth, like Prime Video or IMDb, and disambiguates what the content is. Amazon then provides a universal content-centric search result back to the customer. And again, this is what the final customer experience looks like. What you see here is not the content of an app, but is the result of a search performed using Amazon Universal Search. This is a great way to increase content discoverability, as customers search for content directly and then consume the content based on the relative provider. In the next talk, we will cover the technical under the hood details of how catalog integration works, so don't miss it. And now, let's talk about another pillar of content forward, which is voice. Let's talk about how you can drive and grow customer engagement even further using voice integration. As we said before, voice allows customers to easily discover and connect with the content they want to consume. Let's see how. Over the last few years, we focus on bringing all the innovation Alexa is bringing to the voice space into Amazon Fire TV. 
we tirelessly work between our Fire TV team and our Alexa team to make sure that we're providing the right customer experience using voice. Voice, as I said before, is an important pillar of engagement. All Fire TV devices in the US, UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, India, and Japan are voice enabled through the voice remote. This allows to use what we call near field voice controls using the voice button on the voice remote. And some devices, as we've seen before, like the Fire TV Cube or Fire TV Omni, come with far field controls, so you don't even have to pick up a remote. You can just talk to your TV and give it commands. You might ask, so how does voice impact my application and how does it help me drive engagement? Well, we did look into the engagement data, and over the past 12 months, our customers that use voice features engage with content almost twice more than those who didn't. So this is a great demonstration that using voice, you can increase engagement with your app content. But how does it work? Well, as you will see in the technical talk after this presentation, there are multiple ways to add voice integration to your app. However, the main feature that enables voice for applications and provides a deep integration into content is the Video Skills Kit. As we said before, voice allows customers to easily discover and connect with the content they want to consume. And content is where Video Skills Kit or VSK can really help you. The Video Skills Kit, or VSK, gives customers the power to use natural language commands to both find content and control playback within the content. Not only will your app show up when a user searches for it specifically, but it will also show up when users search by genre or for a specific show. These allow you to reach more users who may not know about your brand or content offering. The way that it works is that the customer speaks a command, and this command is then processed by the Alexa service and the Video Skills API, which decomposes the command and sends the command back to the specific application that can play the content. Let's say that your application can uh, play a specific movie or TV series, then your application will be automatically picked if the customer is entitled, and it will automatically display the content back to the customer. We'll go into more details about how this works in our technical talk. So again, stay tuned for more. To give you an idea, these are the main VSK enabled commands that a customer can give Alexa on Fire TV. As you can see, most of these commands don't really require the customer to specify the app or provider of the content. That's because via catalog integration, the VSK backend can automatically resolve the content provider and in a matter of seconds, go straight into playback. In the next talk, we'll go more in detail about these commands and how developers can actually add voice to their apps. And last but not least, let's now talk about monetization. Monetization is a crucial, important pillar of success for a lot of developers. So now let's take a look about how you can grow and monetize your content using Amazon in-app purchase. And what are the key developer tools that you can use? There are many ways you can monetize your app. Paid apps were the first monetization model for apps and a lot of applications still use it. However, then advertising kicked in. Advertising is a very popular monetization model. There are multiple advertisement networks you can tap into to monetize your apps. However, one of the main ways a lot of developers decide to monetize their content is with in-app items, more specifically when it comes to TV, use subscription. However, building an infrastructure to manage subscription and in-app purchase and payments is not a trivial exercise. On Amazon devices, you can use Amazon in-app purchase API, which allows you to easily manage monetization through in-app items and subscriptions. So why should you use Amazon in-app purchase? There are a few advantages to it. For example, it provides in-app items, entitlements, and subscriptions. It handles the purchase flow, the payment processing, receipts, and the rights management, saving you the cost of building infrastructure around payment yourself. 
Also, it offers Amazon one-click setting, which means that when customer, which are already logged in uh, with their Amazon account, access your app, purchases are only one click away, which is extremely convenient. In the next talk, we will dive into the more technical details of how in-app purchase works. Uh, so again, stay tuned for more. We are very excited by what is possible in the video streaming space today and in the future. And we want more and more app developers and content owners to jump on board with us. As we say at Amazon, this is just day one for Fire TV, as we work to make entertainment easier, more magical and more enjoyable. Before we jump into the Q&A, I want to share with you an exciting opportunity for developers that we've been working on, which is the Amazon Developer Huddle. The Huddle is an exclusive community of app developers and content creators, which is set up to amplify their voices via engaging in research activities. The feedback provided to this community will impact directly our product roadmap, with all the feedback going directly to our product, engineering, marketing, and leadership teams. If you are a professional app developer, either working in a full-time or freelance position and have registered for an Amazon developer account, you can sign up. What are the benefits? You can influence product development, gain exclusive industry insights, network with fellow developers, and even win prizes for completing research activities. So how do I join, you ask? It's very easy. Go on developer.amazon.com slash appsandgames slash devhuddle. I hope to see you there. And as I said before, the dev day doesn't finish here. After the Q&A, stay tuned for a technical talk by our developer evangelist Anish Shamalde, who will share the main tools to get started on Fire TV and how you can implement the content forward features we just seen together. I want to sincerely thank you for watching this first introduction to Fire TV. This does not stop here. If you want to discover more, you can head over to our website, developer.amazon.com, where you will find all the information that we shared today and way more. We constantly release new content and new information for developers. Another great channel to follow us is our Twitter uh, social account at Amazon App Dev. If you want to discover more, watch more tutorials, uh, more case studies, and have more insights into the Amazon App Store and Amazon devices, you can also go on our YouTube channel, which you can find at Amazon App Store Developers. So again, make sure to stay on for a Q&A and for a technical talk. We will be switching to Q&A in just a moment. Thank you for watching.